Hi friends, it's Leslie with Avalon Acres Farm. I hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to do my um, July 3rd setup in my catch-all planner. I sat down and started this video before and then I realized, oh, I didn't even cut out my digitals yet. <laughs> Thinking ahead. Alright, so the digital I am using is called Summer Celebrations by Design Lovely Studio. Let's see. This is a um, dashboard layout. So can actually pick out some washi to go on the header and footer. So I hope you're having a good weekend. It's Sunday for me, Sunday night. And uh, I mean, we're not doing anything special for the 4th of July. Luckily, in the neighborhood where we live, there are a ton of people who put off really nice fireworks displays, so we don't have to leave the house to see that. And uh, we have a, um, oh, what's it called? I can't think of the name of it. The fireworks warehouse um, in the next town over. So I don't know, maybe some of those people even work for it because I like the displays they put on are just phenomenal. It's like going to a professional fireworks show. I like the fireworks. Let me just make sure our animals are in the house. Ooh, well, that didn't. That kind of sucked. <laughs> wow. Let's see if I can kind of get it in place. I might have to get my tweezers. Wow. I did not expect that. Just kind of let it go where it goes. And then this will be held down by whatever washi I put on there. Well, I know what washi I'm using, but just. <clears throat> yeah, so we're going to stay home. Um, probably going to grill tomorrow and on the 4th. Uh. I've got chicken out that I'm going to marinate tomorrow morning for uh, chicken Slovaki, which is like a Greek Mediterranean marinated chicken kebab. And I'll make some uh, orange potatoes, which is also a yummy Greek recipe. I, when, um, I used to do, let's see, where's my cross, I got the blues, where did I, where are they? I must have put them back. Oh, <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Um, when I was doing the medieval reenactment, which I told you about. I used to do that. Um, every summer we had an event called the Penzik War. And uh, it was like a two week event. And, you know, if you can't, if you could, you'd camp there for the whole two weeks. 
I did a couple times. Usually, though, I would work during the week and then go on the weekends to camp. But, uh, the camp, I mean, this was, this is a huge event. It's the largest SCA event in the world. And we're talking, there are so many people that come and camp at this campground that for the time that the um, event is going on, the campground's considered a small village or, or city even. I mean, because I think the last time I went, which was in 2003, 2002, I don't remember. It's It's been decades. <laughs> um, there were over 25,000 people there. So this is a huge event. And of course it has um, an area where there's vendors. And, and I mean, there's like a whole little medieval shopping center with tons of just gorgeous vendors stuff. I mean, you can get fabric. You can get whole costumes if you wanted to. I mean, I made my own. But, uh, you could get weapons. You could get, uh, you know, stuff for, you know, having anything medieval ish for your camp. You know, like, uh, Tableware, cookware, uh, decor for your tent, medieval like lanterns, and I mean, some people even made and bought medieval furniture. Those were the, those were a lot of the people that were in SCA royalty. <laughs> yes, there is a hierarchy. But, um, I had a simple, it was, it was a Boy Scout tent and I painted it blue and white stripes. So it kind of had that medieval fair kind of look to it. And, um, the camp that I camped at, we had a communal living room, kitchen, and stuff. So, we, we all pitched in to decorate those areas. So, I had, you know, like, old lanterns and stuff. And I'd bring fabric for table coverings and... It was just awesome. But anyway, my whole point of bringing that up, which I completely lost. <laughs> um, oh, I was going to use that blue. Yeah, oh, well. Um, there was a vendor there that uh, he was like a Mediterranean food, mostly Greek food vendor. And I used to go there and get his gyros and these wonderful, wonderful potatoes he made. And, um, the last year that I went, I asked him if I could have the recipe for the t potatoes. And he said no, but he said, you know, you can look anywhere for the recipe. It's just orange potatoes that's what he called it and then he said it was papas I don't remember but anyway um, I looked on the internet which was very young at that time oh what am I doing I'm not even paying attention to what I'm doing ah! okay 
I'm just putting tape down. Um, I think I think all recipes was already around at that point, but I also would get recipes from like cook.com and uh, there was another site I can't remember now, but anyway, I looked for orange potatoes, citrus potatoes, and I found the recipe and I made them and my family went gaga over them. So I always make that when I'm making chicken Slovakia because they go together really well. I'm just putting it over it. No biggie. So that was that was a long winded way to get around to the end of the story. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, you would go to these vendors, and a lot of them, because they were, they were there every year, and um, I think they would be there for other events that the campground had as well. So they had their own buildings, and a lot of them were like modeled after medieval pubs. It was so cool. After Seamus was born. I stopped participating in the SCA because uh, with his autism, it just, it wouldn't be a good kind of place for him because he doesn't do crowds well and that's all it is, is tons of people all together. I mean, maybe he could get into it now, but I don't know, I'm not really... That's, that was a different time in my life. Okay, so we got our washi on somehow. <laughs> All right. Um, I've got knife to cut it in half so I can use it on the other page. Yes, I'm hoping, uh, you know, tomorrow and just this week in general, the, the air quality is better so I can be outside more and uh, Seamus is dying to go in the pool. We haven't been able to do that yet because it's just the air quality hasn't been safe. So we've been staying in the house. In the air conditioning, mind you, but You guys should see the front of my desk. I've got so many little pieces of washi and stickers hanging there that I always put there and oh, I'll use it for something and then I never do. So the collection is just growing. Oh, come on. Oh, that's not straight at all. How did I get it so crooked? No. That's not any better.
Okay, that is better. That wasn't. Yeah, so we'll do a, um, our chicken Slovakia tomorrow, I think. I was originally going to do it on the 4th. I think we'll do it tomorrow and then on the fourth I've got this recipe called um, bacon surprise I think it's called and basically what it is besides an artery filler upper. That's why we don't eat it that often. But my son Jarrett absolutely loves it. And he begged me to make it, so I can't say no. Um, you take bacon and you make a like a um, 12 by 12 lattice square out of it. Okay. Or woven. No, I guess you could say lattice. And then on top of that, you put sausage, like Italian sausage. You spread it out all over the bacon. then you put already cooked bacon bits and barbecue sauce in the middle and then you roll it up no wait how oh the <laughs> I'm confusing myself you roll it up and you've got this tube with the bacon lattice on it it's pretty and then you just sprinkle barbecue rub on it and stuff and um, you can cook it in the grill or cook it in the oven you know, in the winter time I do it in the oven if I make it but Scott's got his smoker and he wants to like smoke everything so I think that's what we're gonna do for the fourth actually yeah yeah I do that for the fourth and I made a big batch of homemade macaroni and cheese and we'll have that with it and I'll make some fruit salad to go with and then we'll have margaritas to watch the fireworks by <laughs> Okay, I think we've got that done. That looks really cute. It's not so blatantly red, white, and blue. It's lighter. Okay, so we've got this. That'll fit in the hole looking ahead. If that's what I want to do. Oh, wait, that's the wrong... Oh my gosh, don't mind me. These are the correct stickers for this one. Okay, so let's get our weekend sticker up. Okay. Pretty. Now this um, digital doesn't come like with a notes or tasks 
area so generally I just fill when I'm using these digitals I just fill this area in with uh, list stickers and then the pretty ones from the kit Most of the time, not always, but most of the time, I just end up filling this whole page up with stickers. And then, um, I don't generally put much over here because I like to leave that blank for whatever comes up. Yes, they're on crooked. I'm just, I'm giving up fighting that. That's just, I put things on crooked. I need to accept my shortcomings. Oh, <laughs> okay. Let's take this off because this came right off of it. I'm like, where did that come from? There we go. Well, hopefully that one doesn't come off. I think I got the ends of it with the washi. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, we've got these two. I'm sure you're supposed to cut those for separate um, boxes, but I just keep them whole and use them for lists and ideas and stuff. I've got to... Uh, oh, I don't have a meal plan sticker either. Should put that up on here but honestly I don't have my meal plan done beyond tomorrow and Tuesday <laughs> let's see I could use this for a meal plan If I can get the back off of it. There we go. I'll put this here. Oh, I was going to put a header above it. Darn it. Gentle, gentle. Don't rip, don't rip. Just set you right there. Yeah, the last time I did that, <laughs> I sent some, set something right there, and I completely forgot about it and found it later. It's like, oh, I was supposed to use you. Okay, we'll put this on first. And that is relatively straight. Good job, me. And this one is wider than that one.
one. Okay. That fits perfectly. Yay. Well, not perfectly, but okay. And let's see, that's a long skinny. Suit this one a little bit. Yeah. And it goes with because there's cherries above it. Okay. Hmm, that wash doesn't stick very well. get so far off. <laughs> no, are you kidding me? I don't know why I'm having such trouble with these stickers today. Um, okay, it's crooked, but it's good. It's staying. All right, let's see what we got left here. Ice cream cone, bathing suit, picnic, summer celebrations. I use this one. I wanted to cover up where that ripped area was. Perfect. I don't know why I'm having such trouble with these today. Oh, you know what? It probably is because my, um, my paper cutter, the night, the dull, the the dull, the blade is dull. I'm waiting for my replacement blades to come, hopefully tomorrow. And they cut these really raggedy. I, I mean, that's what I'm guessing is the problem. That fit nice too. Cool. All right. So I could put my 
weekly ideas there. And then in this area, I can do lists for like household um, cleaning. Shopping lists, you know, the like. You see, I put like um, phone calls I have to make, stuff like that. or even bills I have to pay, course appointments, That looks cute. Okay. Let's get this guy over here. Yay, thank you. We do have cherries, watermelon, blueberries, strawberries. I'm gonna make some fruit salad. I think I mentioned that earlier. Or maybe I'll make that. There's the um, flag cake where you. Uh, take a pound cake and slice it and lay the slices down in a cake pan, cover it with Cool Whip and then put strawberries and blueberries on the top and the, sh you know, in the design of a flag. My son loves that cake. Oh my gosh, my daughter used to love that cake too. She would be so excited to see me making that. All right. I don't think I have anything that says June on it, or July. July! It's July, Leslie. I don't think um, that washi that I have on the top, I don't think it can be written on very well. I think if I try to write on it, it won't dry. It'll just smear off. So, cut a pretty little label out. Put it at the top here. Okay, I think that's good to go. And then the leftovers from this kit, and then and the leftovers from the kit I used in my wellness planner, I'll be using those in my project planner, because there's just so much I don't want to waste it. And 
it's all basically red, white, and blue. Maybe just different uh, hues of red, white, or red and blue. But they'll match. So I think it'll be okay. And my uh, project planner is a dashboard layout also. And I pretty much do the same kind of thing except I have uh, lists everywhere because it's my project planner. But there you go. Where's my mouse? Oh. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed uh, planning with me. Let's uh, we can do our Chicken Slovaki, orange potatoes, none, pita, hummus. I'll probably have raw vegetables too. And then um, bacon explosion, that's what it's called. Bacon explosion. Uh, let me get a, a blue. There we go, that's better. Bacon, I don't know, it's not better, it's running out of ink. I love these friction pens, especially because I am, oh God. I guess I just can't talk and concentrate today. I'm constantly making mistakes that I need, I feel the need to erase. Bacon explosion. Mac and cheese, and I'm going to put fruit salad in between them because I'll probably make it for both days. Okay. Um, I don't think oh, Wednesday we're supposed to get our brakes fixed. Monday we've got Amazon coming. And Walmart. Walmart? No, not Walmart. Costco. Costco delivery. Thursday I've got Amazon subscribe and save deliveries I think the rest of the Walmart's coming on Wednesday yeah I'm just, I'm just going to put an arrow because we've got stuff coming Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, so. Okay. Like it. Thanks for planning with me, folks. And if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. Nobody's giving me thumbs up. I need some thumbs up so my videos will get seen by more people. Please, I'm begging you. I'm going to try and write on this and see if it does work. Or even give me a thumbs down if you don't like it. I mean, any. Uh, it all helps give me more views. Alright, there we go.
I'll see you in the next video. Bye!